Oh yeah, spider. Many arms with hands, spider. Again, these are notes to myself on ideas to do embroidery out of with accompanying drawings. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I wanted to make a head with the brain visible inside the head and I don't know. I like the idea I guess of containers of showing three dimensional kind of so I don't know edges too I like I don't know centipede never I still haven't done a centipede so I think it's a good idea for something to be embroidered a centipede anatomy diagrams oh wow what a surprise that's already happening put all heads in doorways oh you know because I, I used to really be into a still am gothic gothic paintings and they have a lot of these kind of doorways like that and I, I actually I did do one thing that had a head in a doorway like that <sighs> masks faces dicks vaginas and sex and with a smile wow what how revealing uh, that did end up in an embroidery oh yeah for some reason I wanted to make this dog and make this pattern inside the dog and it had to be red and for some reason I thought that that was the coolest thing ever well, maybe I'll still do it one day there's a bag I had stuff that I took out of the uh... oh man I thought I was going to be able to do this in a 10 minute time span I guess not Stuff I took out of the dictionary, some funky floral. It's a common blood root. Floral thing. Oh. This has been going on three years. I've had this image out of a dictionary. Uh, well, uh, ancient Greek terracotta doll. I was going to pretty much copy this whole thing, including all the rendering and shading of the body. Never happened. Not yet, at least. Giving away all these ideas, people. Not very exciting, though, but. Oh, yeah, I was gonna make this image in red on a black t shirt. Because this is this image that. Uh, in. Um, oh, yeah, at my job, there's some kind of electronic box circuit breaker kind of box and it has that thing but I never made it because I realized that it would just be pointing down to my you know pants down to my you know private part and everybody would be looking at me like whoa what's the red red hour pointing to your dick for or something so obviously I didn't make that oh yeah there's that thing uh, this, again, at my job, we have this fancy looking glass end table in the display area, which has a weird silver made leg, one leg like that. The rest of it comes out of the wall. The glass goes around it like that. So, anyway, it's kind of a cool silver metal kind of thing, which I drew a picture of. Does that accurately describe describe what it is, or do you not? Does it not make sense? It's it's a leg of a glass table, except for it's only one leg because the rest of it's attached to the wall. Yeah, that's clear. Okay, and that is it. Oh my goodness! This was long enough to get into two videos, but not very long on the second video. Well, it's good to have references and ideas. Right, this is something that I have nearby. My embroidery stuff is something that I picked up. I don't know. Facts you should know about beef. This has a great... You know, you get stuff like this at garage sales or flea markets or whatever. Or 
stuffed inside of a book that you get at a library book sale. This has every piece of meat in the in the cattle. If I ever want to make a meat stall type of butcher shop embroidery. This is there you go. Reference material. Reference material. Uh, out of this book. The art of the still life nearby. There's cool stuff in it. Skulls and forget it. Forget it. There's there's a meat stall. Whoops. In this painting with meat in it. And something that I like a lot. Butchered kind of things. The cord for the we have the cord plugged into the camera, so I'm having problems manipulating the book around the camera. Dead fowl. Well, there's a pig. A pig's body, but anyway. More fish and things. <laughs> The Art of the Still Life. This is a great coffee table book I found. Excellent coffee table book. I broke the spine of it. Alright, so it's about... So I got one 10 minute video and about a 5 minute video out of this whole thing. I don't know how enlightening it is. Good to have... Good to have ideas. Write down your ideas on pieces of paper. Because even if you don't make anything from the idea, at least you'll get it out of your system or something.